Whoa, gnarly dude. Do you know anything about the 80s? Let's get most smartest. The music world was stunned the evening of December 8, 1980 by Mark David Chapman. What did he do? He sang the perfect high C, he killed John Lennon, he gave Elton John drugs, or he left the Manfred Mann Band. He killed John Lennon. Chapman fired five shots at Lennon from behind. In 1981, how many viewers around the world watched the wedding of Princess Di and Prince Charles? 100,000, 1 billion, 1 million, or 250,000? It was one billion, think that's big? Her son and his wife had a bigger wedding. Now what should you do right now? Hey, it'd be gnarly, dude, if you would subscribe, like, share, and comment on my channel, dude. All of them would be great, I'll wait. Tony Basil scored a giant hit with the song Mickey in 1982. How old was she when she released the song? 19, 38, 23, or 28? She was 38. The song was originally called Kitty. In 1980, the Pittsburgh Steelers became the first NFL team to do what? Keep three quarterbacks, draft a high schooler, rush for 296 yards, or win four Super Bowls. They won four Super Bowls and have won two more since. On January 1st, 1980, what did Ted Turner launch? Fox, AMC, the Space Shuttle, or CNN? He launched CNN, the first 24-hour all-news network. What happened to the Space Shuttle Challenger on January 28, 1986? It flew to the moon. It exploded. It was retired. It was retrofitted. It exploded. You can see the names of all those who died on the screen. Starting in 1984, drivers were required to do this before driving their car. Adjust the air pressure. Renew their license, use the seatbelt, or get car insurance. Buckle that seatbelt. It seems like it was a lot longer ago than that. What was Yoda from Star Wars going to be called originally? Shorty, Marcus, Buffy, or Xander? Buffy, yep, believe it or not. In July of 1989, the original Nintendo Game Boy was released in the US. How many games did it have? 25, 5, 12, or 9? It was released with only 5 games that you could play. Jolt Cola was introduced in 1985. What was its slogan? All the sugar and twice the caffeine. Maximum caffeine, more power. How tweaky can we make you, or you really shouldn't drink coffee? All the sugar and twice the caffeine. They used the slogan for nearly 25 years. Although it seems like it has been with us forever, it was June 5th, 1981 that the CDC first reported on this. COVID-19, swine flu, Ebola, or AIDS. It was AIDS, although there is still no cure, treatment has seen great progress. In 1984, what did Apple computers launch for the first time? iPod, Macintosh, iPad, or Lisa? Macintosh. Well-known movie director Ridley Scott directed the first Macintosh commercial. 
What did the U.S. Olympic Committee do on April 12, 1980? Named the next Olympic city, banned the use of steroids, added three more competing countries, or boycotted the Summer Olympics? They boycotted the Summer Olympics in response to the Soviet invasion of Afghanistan. According to Billboard, one musical artist writer had four songs in the top 20 best-selling songs of the decade. Who was it? Madonna, Michael Jackson, Steve Miller, or Lionel Richie? Lionel Richie. Check those songs out. Remember when MTV used to play music? What was the first video they played when they premiered August 1st, 1981? Irene Kara's Flash Dance, Do You Really Want to Hurt Me by The Culture Club, Hollow Notes, I Can't Go For That, or The Buggles Video Killed the Radio Star. It was The Buggles Video Killed the Radio Star. Forget Disneyland, the real people mover is Chrysler's minivan. What year did it first hit the highway? Probably on its way to a soccer game. 1984, 1986, 1988, or 1982. It was 1984, they often came with wood paneling on the outside. In the 80s, cable TV started to become big. If you didn't have cable, how many channels could you watch? Two, three, five, or six. Three, ABC, CBS, NBC. That was it, unless you count public TV. During the 80s, three countries that you know gained their full independence from Great Britain. Which of these didn't? Australia, Canada, Bermuda, or New Zealand? Bermuda. Bermuda is still part of the British Empire, as are many other Caribbean islands. How many viewers tuned in to see who shot JR? Only Sue Ellen did. 10 million. 83 million or 55,000. It was 83 million. This was during the finale of the third season on March 21st, 1980. Which album did Michael Jackson release in 1982? Thriller, Bad, Billie Jean or Off the Wall? It was Thriller. It is still the number one best-selling album ever worldwide. In 1987, what finally came back on the market after being banned for 11 years? Catcher in the Rye, Lawn Darts, Red M&M's, or the Evil Dead movie? Red M&M's, Red Dye number 2 was considered a health risk. What amazing world history event occurred on November 9th, 1989? Fall of the Berlin Wall, Pac-Man is released, Commodore 64 is here, or We Are the World was recorded. The Fall of the Berlin Wall. At the 1989 Grammys, which band received the very first Grammy for heavy metal? Jethro Tull, Metallica, Judas Priest or Black Sabbath. Jethro Tull. Interesting as Jethro Tull is not a metal band. They don't even believe they are. What is the name of the Ukrainian nuclear power plant that exploded on April 26, 1986? St. Petersburg, Chernobyl, Chasma, or South Ukraine? It was Chernobyl. What did Osama bin Laden do on August 11th, 1988? Started Al-Qaeda, hijacked airplanes, became a civil engineer, or banished by Saudi Arabia? He started Al-Qaeda. He used the $30 million inheritance from his father. 
According to Billboard, what was the number one selling song for the 10 years of the 1980s? I of the Tiger by Survivor, Betty Davis Eyes by Kim Carnes, Billie Jean by Michael Jackson, or Physical by Olivia Newton-John? It was Physical by Olivia Newton-John, and she didn't even like the song. Okay, done with that one. There's a couple more in front of you. Let's go. Let's go.